would be sad, but it it, it doesn't even it doesn't even like register on the look at this in Atlanta today. And tonight, this 12 year old boy is in the hospital with critical injuries after a shooting in southwest Atlanta on Friday. According to APD, it happened near the intersection of MLK Junior Drive and Hamilton. He <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, they said a nine year old here yesterday or today, I think. Like, this is how you know it's DNA because it's just like 12 year old boy selling water. There's no like economic, th like, it's, it just can't be explained otherwise. Yeah, well, it's, it's a stretch, it's a stretch to try to blame it on something else, and also you have to have like that. Sun man, um, privilege where nobody can like push back because usually when they say it's something other than DNA, that's the end of the conversation, man. It's not like, oh, well, no, it could be this. It's just like, that's it. I mean, it may be a stretch, <laughs> but outside of this bubble, you know, that's not the case at all. It's everything yeah. but DNA, yeah. It, it, it's, it's, it's. There's, if if I'm a son man and I publicly say, like, oh yeah, now nah, this is so, socioeconomic factors, I dare you to say something else other than, yeah, you're right, <laughs> in a public setting, not in a public setting. I mean, I think I feel like I've heard maybe uh, like Glenn Lowry like allude to it, but even he doesn't just come outright and say it, but he alludes to it sometimes. Yeah, he. I appreciate him because he uh, he at least um puts it out in the ether. Then, yeah, like he'll he'll say some shit like this. He'll be talking to Amy Wax and they'll be going back and forth, and he'll be like, "Look, I can't say that it's not DNA, basically, but I can't say that it is either." So, like, he at least kind of puts it on the table. And that's not really a strong statement, though. Let's be fair. Yeah, it's the best yes, we got. Bro. It's yeah, the best it is a strong it. statement, though, because nobody else yeah, even nobody else throws close, DNA man. in the equation, bro. I'll yes. give you that. Fine, I'll give you that. However, however, with that said, that's not really a strong statement, though. Yeah. I, I understand what the, you know, where we're at outside of this bubble here. You know, he's a professor at Brown. But yeah, this is this is how you yeah yeah you're right though like that that is a good point though, like it's a he he gets it's a strong statement, um considering you know like yeah it's it's just it's like it's like you know a, a PG thirteen statement you know what I mean it's like we're well, going to see a PG thirteen movie you know what I'm saying PG yeah exactly yeah, your mom covers your eyes yeah. You know, and if he was white, he couldn't kind of have said that shit. He couldn't even say a statement like that if he was white. Yo, if you were white and somebody says that to you, <laughs> and you and, like you're you just listening. Yeah, guilt, <laughs> you, 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 you can't, you can't even let that go unchecked. You can't be like, whoa, whoa, DNA. Right. Yeah, dude. <laughs> you got to be careful. Yeah. Yeah, man. So right. it's like, yeah, you can't even let that be said around you, but, man. You yeah, gotta like act like going you're to dinner with Nick yeah. Fuentes and shit. Yeah. But, but back to back to the point, though. I like this picture here and how kind of consistent it is. What else can explain this behavior? What else? Yeah, if you, the culture. If you the a water. Is culture. I mean, if you talk to a, a left leaning person, I can get they'll have like a thousand different reasons. Oh, maybe. So this is this is just I mean this is just like Milwaukee fit two fifteen year olds killed Atlanta this key and more shit happened in Atlanta that yeah. girl got killed that fucking college student got killed this weekend I mean right. just the, any city you go to the, the, and there's no way act that you could cover all of it there's no way that it could it could be covered period. It's so much going on. Think about how much it goes through the cracks of the news everywhere. Every night. It's possible. Every night. And tonight, this 12 year old boy is in the hospital. I will say this I cover, we cover more than anybody. Oh, it may nobody be close. comes close. That's yeah, nobody even comes close. Yeah, support the channel via PayPal, Cash App, or the Super Chat. Support the damn channel, guys. Um, unless we, 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 we conservatives, conservatives. Um, we supposed to be the ones that um, 
we supposed to be getting in election season, election mode, man. It seemed like um, <laughs> see, the, like we losing steam, the, man. The, the red waves. <laughs> yeah, we, we are, that red waves. That red waves coming, you know, right, boys? That yeah. red wave. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, I am winning this dream, bro. Yeah, we losing steam, man. That um, red tsunami. Yeah, man. And tonight, this 12-year-old boy is in the hospital with critical injuries after a shooting in southwest Atlanta on Friday. According to APD, it happened near the intersection of MLK Jr. Drive and Hamilton he E. Holmes. Investigators are now searching for the person who pulled the trigger. Fox 5's Joy Duke spoke exclusively with the mother of the young boy who says his life may never be the same. In just a matter of seconds, a mother's worst nightmare came true. He was basically an innocent bystander that got shot. But this mother, who did not want to share her... An innocent bystander that got shot. And look at that hairdo. Yikes. Hey, my... Hey, face tits. Well, look at like face tits. Yikes. That's a rough looking um sphinx, man. A, a female sphinx. Right. A queen. <laughs> a queen. <laughs> We're all the same, though, right? Yeah. Identified her 12 year old son, Jaquavius, says the child. Oh, he's Atlanta. throwing up gang signs and shit. Damn. Oh, man. Damn. Uh, it looks like it. The police investigators say was shot multiple times at the intersection of Martin Luther King Jr. Drive and uh -oh. Hamilton E. Holmes just after 6 p.m. on Friday. I'm beyond mad. He's like, like, I've been like, because I've been crying, crying, crying. I've been trying not to cry. She tells Fox 5 he was with. <laughs> he was a young tough. man in training. That's a tough sister right there. <laughs> On Friday, I'm beyond mad. It's like, like I've been like, cause I've been crying, 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 I've been trying not to cry. She tells Fox Five he was with his older brother who was on his way to sell some water when someone started shooting. They were saying like a car drove by and shot at them. The woman says her youngest son was struck three times. One of the bullets shattered his arm. A second hit him in the stomach, while a third is still lodged near his spine. Medics oh, rushed man. to Eccleston Children's Hospital for treatment. They basically saying, like, if the bullet were his spine, it, as I might say, he could be paralyzed because he can't feel his legs. APD oh, man. Little boy paralyzed, man. Yeah. It's such like a disadvantage to just just let, let's even say this little boy here. Let's just say he's got like a 200 IQ. He still has the massive advantage or disadvantage of just living around this shit. Like it's Absolutely. like you can't escape it. Even if you're fucking Einstein, you can't escape it. Yeah, approximately. Yeah, it's tough. It's a tough ask. Paralyzed. The notorious nostrils. Mm, mm, mm. Somebody was probably shooting at his brother, his older brother, and he got hit. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, what can you do? I mean, these people are in a van. Like, you can't outrun it. You just have to succumb to the fucking DNA. Yo, dude, you're literally on the corner of Martin Luther King Boulevard you think about think about everything in this case. So you're on the major intersection. This is a major intersection, right? They're going to sell water. Where you sell water at is major intersections, you know? CVS, yada yada, light four way stop light, you know what I'm saying? So you you're standing here where there's the protection of the cameras from the street signs, the daylight. cameras from the stores, the broad, the sun, the literal sun, all these eyes, potential witnesses everywhere, and they still open fire at you. Then they rush you. Some people come, some magical people come in a, in a van and magical pick glider. you up and race you to this state-of-the-art hospital where they have the best surgeons in the fucking world and they do everything they can to save your life, but you're still paralyzed. Yeah, it's kind of like GTA when you get out of the hospital. just You just kind of respawn because these magical gliders bring you back and it's just like 
this these two like diametrically opposed societies it's just like one destroys the other builds and fucking now this poor kid's paralyzed for selling water you know and i was gonna say uh you know like the the sincere part of me wants to say they should flee from this however we understand Please what don't. that means we understand because what that if they means. go if they like, leave where are they gonna go like think about it just think about it. this kid right here was like now don't get me wrong he didn't just he right right this kid was probably grows up to be the typical son team in right. three years in three Absolutely. years he's those 15 year old he's those two 15 year olds in Milwaukee that got killed in three years in the in the neighborhood that he fled that they fled to which would exactly. be uh which would be a non blackistan neighborhood which will become the blackistan because of them fleeing. So it's like, what do you do for for these people? What can you do for them, you know? I don't know. You, this is what you do for them. You build some prisons. You, uh, <laughs> you surround their neighborhoods with, with flocks of uh, well-armed policemen. And you create laws that completely stifle all of their uh, innate biological uh, imperatives to for violence and terror. <laughs> No, uh, you have sense. to, you have to dis, yeah, you have to disincentivize violence and the the behavior you don't want. You have to disincentivize it, um, because giving them free stuff literally only makes them worse. Hundred so, percent. So you have to disincentivize the bad behavior. You have to make it to where, like, yo, man, you gotta be. Fucking nuts to do whatever the fuck you like to carjack somebody. You gotta be like a fucking like. It's gonna be you like got murder. Murder. <laughs> it's, gonna, it's gonna be the, like the same risk of like carjacking gonna be like shooting somebody in broad daylight. Like, right. Yeah. Or, or even holding. I, I think you know. I think holding a gun, an illegal gun. They say it here it's not. A, it's a nonviolent crime, depending on certain factors, but. I don't see how it's not a violent crime, considering how many people are getting shot here. You know? Yeah, like, it's, it's, it's crazy. Basically, we'd have to become the Sandman and treat them that way. That's basically what would be necessary. So it's possible, yeah. but... Right. You need a, you need and, a police state. And, yeah, you know, and I hate to, I hate to say it. I, you know, I'm post-second amendment, and I'm not for, like, any fascist-ish, whatever the fuck. But what more can we do? Kids are getting shot left and right by these clowns, bro. Yeah, that that constitutional carry is that's it's that's an L. That's not it. And all them badass kids, like for uh, summer school, just send them to a Nairobi slum and just let them hang out there, and you know, just yeah, let them it... feel the 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 the. The, the carnage of a, a pure, unadulterated, uncut sun society. I kind of like that, man. So it, is it kind of like this to make them appreciate what they have here? Yeah, like yeah, it. basically. I don't know, man. I don't think they have, I don't think we have the ability to do that. They'll come back worse. I, yeah. I, no, I don't think we have the ability, like, because uh, that, that takes reflection and, takes you know, yeah, exactly. It takes a frontal law, and which which lets you, which is not our fault. If we have underdeveloped frontal lobes, there's our excuse. There's our out. Yeah, that's exactly. an actual reason. Yeah, that is. Yeah. yeah, like it's not a it's not a broke or a bug. It's just it just is. That's what like liberals don't understand. That's why yeah, I don't we... like the the racism of the gaps and the all those type of arguments. Yeah, it's a, it's that that stuff's always been a bunch of bullshit. Yeah, man, we um mm, mm, mm. fucking Irish and all this bullshit causing yeah, sons to act this way. Like, come on. Yeah. Yeah, so it was a fucking. Oh man. I I used to be on him for like a six months, and then I'm like, no, this dude's a fucking clown. <laughs> oh, yeah, Thomas. Wait. So, yeah, yeah. Well, he, he, like them, right? Nah, he's um he's um. He he panders in like uh he he took a circuitous route to pander. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah. Pander, pander to who? Blacks. 
it feels oh, like shit. it's weird because blacks hate uh soul, but he's get he he gave y'all an excuse too. He the best one. He the gave he, he blame it on white people too. He, he gave him the best excuse because he 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 gave it like he gave it depth, you know what I'm saying? Instead yeah. of just saying it's white yeah. people's fault, yeah, yeah. he kind of like created a whole story arc, a narrative, uh, um, you know, a believable story. Like these white people were here. Da, da, da. It's like a like if blacks were smart. See, the only problem with blacks is you have to be like willing, curious, and willing, and, and a seeker of knowledge to get his excuse. You know what I'm saying? Because his excuse is not like we was kings or some some jailbird coming home from prison just writing a book. His, his excuse is basically like, yo, there were three groups of Europeans that came over here, the Irish, the Welsh, the Scots. You know what I'm saying? And he breaks it all down. And he, <laughs> sons, we, 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 that's too much. You know what I'm saying? But it's a better excuse because yeah, it has better. depth, you know. But but they do hate him, though, right? Nonetheless, yeah, they hate him. But that just shows you if you don't if if you don't just say yo the white man is the devil and if you don't go that route with it if you try to break it down too eloquently it's like no nah, man you trying to yeah. you trying to fucking you, you ain't trying to put your, the boot on the white man neck hard enough. Yeah, he lost him. He lost him. Um, but that little scenario about you know these people, these white people didn't want to read and did they had anti-intellectual society, and the blacks who lived in that area copied them and shit. It's like okay, well, how do you explain Haiti? How do you explain Jamaica? How do you explain St. Kitts? How do you explain, explain Grenada? How do you explain Bermuda? How do you explain Barbados? How do you explain Dominica? How do you explain Senators. Dominican Republic? How do you explain Cuba? How do you explain fucking anywhere else that that, that didn't that there weren't hillbillies? Right. Yeah, and it doesn't matter if the country was colonized or not. It's the same shit. No, in they... fact, the colonized ones actually do better. Because they at least had like some exactly. remnants of a fucking functioning society left over to try to upkeep. Yeah, that's the funny part. They say like Haiti is like Haiti because of co- of uh, the white people, but bro, if it was colonized, it would be infinitely better. It's like, like Haiti is Haiti because of the lack of white people, right? <laughs> Colonization made all everywhere in Africa where it was colonized, it was better. I'm mm-hmm. sorry, yeah. uh, Negroes. They the made European, it better. The Europeans brought civilization. <laughs> they I talk about when... Ethiopia was this great place because they they were, they didn't get colonized. But look, when I grew up, all I seen was kids on TV with big old right. bellies and shit, starving right. with flies right. flying right. around them and shit. Right, right. Yeah, she wasn't no see, fucking superpower, dog. See, when I was a kid, I I mean, I grew up. I know now that the Europeans brought civilization to the Africans, but when I grew up. I understood that the Europeans traumatized the Africans um, and which caused them to behave how they do. Obviously, that doesn't explain that, the whole story, right? No, nah, bro. Yeah. Bro, the African society was already brutal. The sun men was already inflicting all types of brutality on the sun men, bro. Yeah, exactly. Frank like, Franz, who are you? Hold that's on, good. Frank I'm Frank. Frank. What's up? What's up? Who are you? Frank, man. Put a, put a banner up on the live before you, you know? Yeah, Follow well, you... What, 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 how'd you find out about the channel? YouTube. Huh? YouTube? Um, oh, yeah. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Bomber energy, dude. Yeah, he four me, bomber but energy, I man. Yeah, man. Only got porn bomber energy, man. He got porn, <laughs> porn bomber energy, man. He's like, yo, my name's yeah. Frank, bro. Just stare yeah, at the, the camera for 10 yeah, seconds. I'm, I'm going to ask him out there. Do Black Lives Matter and see what he says. Nah. <laughs> fine. Medics rushed him to Eccleston Children's Hospital for treatment. They basically saying, like, if the bullet where he's buying it, I'm saying he could be paralyzed because he can't feel his legs. 
APD officials did not share details about a shooter. The mother says she believes it was a young person who pulled the trigger. I think she no kids have a gun. I think she no children have guns on them because they doing stuff like this. And, you know, I'm just glad my 12 year old made it. But she says she won't rest until she gets justice for the boy doctors say has a long recovery ahead of him. In the meantime, the mother says she started a GoFundMe to try and cover medical bills. In Atlanta, Joy Dukes, Fox 5 News. Mm. Yeah, he